A breadboard is a very important tool used in electronics for building circuits. The breadboard allows temporary connections to be made and changed on the fly. The connection of electronic components is made through the tiny holes of the breadboard. It is vital that you understand how the holes are connected internally. The breadboard is also surrounded by a number of banana terminals. The banana terminals are not physically connected to the breadboard. The banana terminals are the perfect medium for connecting cables to. We can then use a small wire to connect from the terminal to the wire. For a good connection, ensure that you place the wire through the hole and screw it down. We will start by building a simple series circuit. We start by connecting two wires to the banana terminals. Use the wires connected to the banana terminals to make a connection to the breadboard. Use the long power supply channels on the sides of the breadboard for these connections. We then get two cables and connect up the terminals of the power supply to the breadboard's banana terminals. We now add our first resistor. As shown in the circuit diagram, we want one leg of the resistor to touch the positive of the supply, as shown. The other leg can go in any other hole within the breadboard. Now from the circuit diagram, we want the other leg of the first resistor to touch the first leg of the second resistor. To do this, we place a leg of the second resistor in a hole that shares a common channel with the second leg of the first resistor. Referring back to the circuit diagram, we now want the second leg of the second resistor to touch the other end of the power supply. We therefore place that leg of the resistor into a hole that shares the same channel as that terminal of the power supply. Now just as in the circuit diagram we have a complete path that the current can flow through. If the circuit does not work you can use troubleshooting techniques to find the break in the path. This is usually done by checking the voltages around your circuit with a multimeter. Let's now alter our circuit diagram to change the second resistor with a lamp. We can connect the lamp to the banana terminals and use a wire to bring the connection to the breadboard. Notice one wire must connect with the second leg of the first resistor and the other wire must connect with the second terminal of the power supply. Now just as in the circuit diagram we have a complete path that the current can flow through. If the circuit does not work you can use troubleshooting techniques to find the break in the path. This is usually done by checking the voltages around your circuit with a multimeter. Now let's change our circuit diagram to show two resistors in parallel. In the diagram we can now see that the positive terminal of the power supply touches one leg of the first resistor, as well as the first leg of the second resistor. The other terminal of the power supply connects with the second leg of the first resistor, as well as the second leg of the second resistor. Connecting up the circuit is as easy as taking notice of how each component of the circuit must connect with each other. By following these simple steps you should be able to build any circuit now.